Hi, this is Nicole Appellian from Survive and Thrive with Dr. Nicole Appellian. I'm here today to talk about what should you have in your bag at all times for your kids. So I'm here with my son, Quinn. Hi! Quinn is 10 and in his backpack when he goes to school, he has a kit. And I want him to tell you today what's in his kit and why is it important and how it's used. Can you do that, bud? Yep. All right, what do you have in that bag? Um, so I got this emergency blanket, which it's you. Um, it's used for if you're very cold and you just need some, um, need to get warm quick. Mm -hmm. How does it you? How does, why is it silver? What does that matter? Um, the silver it reflects the heat off of it. Have you ever seen like um, something that reflects like light off? It also reflects heat off of it, mm -hmm. and this is just reflecting the heat from your body and also the heat from this onto you again. So the heat gets trapped in there and it just becomes more and more. Good, it's especially important where we live in the Pacific Northwest where you can get hypothermic really easily. Your car breaks down, not your car, but let's say, because <laughs> you're not driving yet, but your car breaks down. He's walking home from school and there's a downpour. He's coming home from the bus stop. He's out on a hike, anything like that. And uh, something happens, you never know. So that's really important. What else is in that, bud? Um, we got the compass. Good, all right, which way's north? That way. Yes, that way. All right, well, what does your compass say? Uh, well, let's plop it down right here. As he's doing, really important to plop it down on a flat surface. This would be a great video to show your kids. And it says it's that way. Exactly. And this one, you just line it up right here. That arrow, um, the red one with the arrow that's pointed on it. There we go. And it shows north. It's not flat right now, of course, while I'm holding it. But yeah, he lined up the red with the red and knows where north is. Why is that important with the directions? Um, because if you know north, you can know um, all of the different directions. Mm -hmm. And if you are just, if you're lost or anything and you know where an area close by is, mm -hmm. and then you know where the area that you're either supposed to go or you um, need to go, or a place where you can actually um, find people or go to the, your house, um, you just... All right, you just pull up your compass, go to the area that you know is near, and then, or just go there and then plop the compass down and it shall show you which way is north and then you'll figure out the directions home. Great, and it's important of course for your kids to know what direction things are. So make sure you know they know where the sun sets in the way, west, that the sun rises in the east, that where south is, where north is. So they have an idea of where they are on the land, really important. What else is in that bag, bud? Um, there is a, there's a ferro rod. All right, I do have ferro rod and tinder in this bag for him. I also have a lighter, and the important thing about the lighter, I'm gonna reach in your bag here, Bubba. The important thing about the lighter is that the child-proof lock is off. Um, even for adults, I do this in my emergency bag. I take the childproof, which is the bit on the top, the metal on the top, I take that off because when your hands are cold, if you're going hypothermic, it's a lot easier to light your lighter when there is no childproof lock on it. So I took that off for him um, to make it easier. He also has a ferro rod just in case. Oh, can I show him some sparks? Sure, Bubba. Oh. All right, and I have a bigger so striker fun. in there for him. The one that came with the sparrow rod was a little small, and for him, it's a little extra weight, but it, it's easier for him to use. And the strategy, like you had to go like this for the certain striker, and I'm just used to going like... Like that on your striker. Throwing off some great sparks. I also yeah. have tinder in here. Small pieces of cotton impregnated with Vaseline. You fluff it up and it will catch a spark really easily. It will oh. last for around three minutes. It will last for around three minutes. We've practiced this. It's important that he knows how to do this. And uh, just in case he's really stuck somewhere, he'll be able to get a fire going. All right, what else is in that bag that we haven't talked about yet? Um, we have... I think the rest of the things are for signaling for help in case it's dark, you're lost, 
and you, or you're hurt and you, you need someone to find you. How would you do that, Quinn, um, during the day? So I have this mirror right here. And um, once you find a good light point, you can just hold it um, an inch away and then find a good spot. A that closer it inch, yep. An inch, yep. and then find a good spot with light, and then you can hold your hand up, and if the light reflects off, oh, got some light, and then you just move it around, and you could um, find an object, or if there's a plane up there, like signal the plane, but don't point it at anyone's eyes. Very important tip there. Don't point it at anyone's eyes. And that was really greatly, really well said. And it's so, a mirror. It's a signal mirror. Yeah. So you, you find that spot of light. It can only work when the sun is shining. It's hazy here today and it's still working. So you find that spot of light on your hand through that, the center portion of your signal mirror. If you don't have a signal mirror with you, if you just have a broken car mirror, anything like that, that will work. Uh, the point is just really nice. That center point, Point is nice for you to actually be able to pinpoint the signal better, but whatever you have lying around in a, in a survival situation, you want to be able to use that to signal to get help. And it's also used for another quality. If, um, What's that? It's used for if you don't know if you're like bleeding or if you're, um, if you're because if your face is bleeding or something because mm -hmm. you can't like see it or you don't feel it, um, and you just look. If it's bleeding, you can tell with this. You know what the other good thing? To check for ticks, for those t areas you can't yes, see. Yes, ticks, yeah. ticks. All right, back to back to signaling. What else we got here, Quinn? Um, we have, uh, hmm, it's hard to choose from the last two. Your choice. This one. Okay, kids love, kids love whistles. They do. When you're out and you're hurt yelling, it's really hard to just yell for help. You'll strain your voice. You're, you'll strain your voice, you'll, uh, you'll run out of air. If you're actually hurt, it might be hard to be able to yell for help. A whistle, adults and kids, this works for both. A whistle's really important for your child to have. It's also good to know, um, just in case someone is searching for them, what the signal for SOS is. What is that, Quinn? It's, can you can I say it first. A, can I just do a loud Just do a loud blow, blow sure. First. Awesome. Now that can be heard really far away. <laughs> Thank you. We'll do the SOS with the with the uh, the last item. Wait, no, no, no. First, we have to do. Um, we're gonna do a contest first. Oh, we are. Okay. Yes. This is a very spur of the moment video, um, by the way. Contest to see uh -huh. which one is easier to hear. Okay. It's gonna be my voice. Mm -hmm. Not my normal. Actually, there's going to be three ones. My voice, my high-pitched um, vo um, noise, or the whistle. All right. First, let's start with my voice. Ah! Wow. Should have warned you to turn the volume down. Okay, next. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> whistle. <laughs> no time for my high-pitched thing. No, um, don't do that, people. It'll kill their ears. Oh, my God. Everyone, turn your volume down very... Well, baby, and mom, pr plug your ears. All right, all right, go. It's not my loudest. Yep, but I still think the whistle would win. I really do, out of all of those, because you can sustain it for a long oh, period it, of time. Yeah, it doesn't take it. The whistle um, on a competition on which takes more breath, whistle takes the least. But let's see which one's louder in your opinion. <laughs> All right, can put it in the comments. <laughs> Make sure that you have the volume at the same level for each one. My son Quinn wants to know. All right, Bob, what's the last thing you have in your bag here? And this okay. is just his general safety bag. Can we get a drum roll? <laughs> ah, yes. The flashlight, which this also is important. But what if it's night? You can whistle, but if it's nighttime and people are actually looking for you, whistling will bring them towards you. A light will actually show them exactly where you are. So what can I, I like about, SSS? yeah, can I show them something about this particular light? What I like about this light, um, most of these items, actually all of these particular items, except for the striker here are from Five Star Gear. I really like their prices. They have really good gear and really good prices. And I find if there's ever anything that I think needs a little bit of tweaking, I just tell them. And they make the changes. It's really great. Mama, you're supposed to say that at the end of the video. 
real soon. Thank you to the Oh, that's all right. I can say it now. What I like about this flashlight is I can turn it on. You can see it's on. And then there's a button that I can signal with. So I can do. So I can actually do Morse code with this particular one. And then it's still on and I'm still signaling. So I really like this one. All right. You want to try that? How do you do Morse code? Okay. So first I'm going to say it. Oh, I should probably before I'm saying it. Um, it's three um, dot, dot, dot. And then it's mm -hmm. like dot. Dash. Dash, I mean. Dash. Dash. Yep. Dot, dot, dot. Exactly. Okay, like this. Watch this. So. Um, actually, I'm going to put it a bit down so that they don't get in their I don't eyes. think they'll get blinded. Not on the video. Oh, but that's right. nice of you. Okay. okay, it's like... It's not on. <laughs> <laughs> so you start with it on. Then you go. That's three dots, if you can tell. Yep. And then you go. Turned it Wait, off. Wait, no, I... Uh, um, turned it off. Uh, well, I'm just going to do this SOS part again. Um, so it's like this. And it's start important like to practice right here. Okay. And then it's... You're turning it on and off, that's why. And that's, there we go. and then you go, wait, wait, wait. Okay, and then, and then, that's that baby thing. Okay, yeah. The thing what I like Close about this enough. flashlight that I think you're missing, and we'll go over it again, we were using a normal flashlight before, is what you can do is you don't actually have to turn no, it off all flashlight. the way. Oh, I just got you right in the eye. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, dot, 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 slow, slow, slow. And now time to quick, do it quick, the quick. Whistle, 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 so, whistle. All right, whistle. you want to do it with the whistle? Go yeah. for it. Um, maybe turn down your volume because I'm going to do it loud. All right. All right, that's it. Hopefully, we live in a really remote area, so hopefully none of our neighbors heard that. So we won't do it again. <laughs> that was really good. That's exactly right. That means I'm in trouble. I need urgent care. It's the international sign of distress is SOS Morse code. So that's what you need. So that's what he has in his bag. I have a much bigger EDC that I carry with me all the time. I'll do another video on this. It's a lot of stuff. But for, you know, for Quinn, it's plenty of stuff to, to sustain him if he gets lost. And what else do you have right here? Your last thing that's really important to have with you at all times. I got my water bottle. Really important to have a water bottle. And the nice thing about this is hopefully he won't be in a situation where he's lost for a really long period of time. But should he need to boil water in this, you can boil water in this particular one. It comes with a nesting cup and a lid and all of that as well. But you can boil water right in this. And the same with my water bottle here. I can boil water in it. And that's really important to have. And I also have a nesting cup in mine as well. So I think that's it for signaling and safety today. Wait, no, no, there's one more thing. All right. <laughs> so I drunk this water bottle um, like once or twice. I need you to find as many times as I did and the, and the time that I did and put it in the comments. Wow, a contest. All right. What do they get if they, if they get it? Um, a thumbs we'll, up from us? No, we'll pick some people out from the comments and then we'll shout them out in the next video. Oh, all right. Who knew? Now we have a contest going. Well, great. Two contests. And the other thing I did want to point out, so he can't bring his knife to school. Go figure. So he can't bring it in his book bag. Um, but he has it on a lot of uh, other times. So if you have a ferro rod, make sure if you have a, not a stainless steel knife, but a high carbon steel knife, you can take the back of your knife and you can use it in order to get sparks. Of course, this Is this one one? There we go. So you can get this sparks one, from this, this one as well. Work? I want to try. That one didn't work that great. But. I want to try this one. What, what is my favorite? I think it's the ferro rod. Yes. <laughs> it's brand new and it still has a lot of black on it. We need to get it right. So that's it for today. And uh, thank you so much for being with us. I'm Nicole. And thank you. Um, and I'm Quinn. And, and thank you to our sponsors, Five Star Gear, for all this amazing gear. Thank you, Five Star. And I don't just talk about gear that I don't like. This is gear we use every day. It's well priced and uh, it's really good. I'm actually wearing these are True Spec is the same company, and I'm wearing their pants. And I gotta say, um, my other son and I have this have the same pants. They've got a lot of pockets, and they're kind of like my Fjall Ravens, but at about half the price, and, or less than half the price. So um, in uh, the just thank you. In the description, there's gonna be um, a link to wait. Is this Facebook or YouTube? YouTube. Um, there's gonna be a link in the description <laughs> to. Um, 
to um, Five Star Gear. Yep. My kid's a way better marketer than I am, listen to him. But anyway, it's gear that we use every single day, and I'll be posting more gear reviews as well of other companies whose gear I really like and use on a daily basis. Also, so, thank you so much. We're gonna finish up right now. I'll do another video on this one. Yes, and we may, depending on when we do this, and if we remember, we may put this in the description once we finish the video, All right. maybe. <laughs> All right, if they're lucky. All right, yes, if they're lucky. thank you, Quinn, for being with me today, and hope you all enjoyed this and show it to your kids so they can learn to have all this sort of gear with them and it's all very simple stuff very inexpensive but could save a life so thank you so much bye bye